So what do you think? Is it worth it to live in San Diego? Well, you aren't the only person to think that. That's actually one of the top Google searches when it comes to San Diego. I can probably pull over 100 comments throughout my videos of things people like or dislike about San Diego, the good, the bad, the ugly, but I wanna know specifically, do you think it's worth it living in San Diego? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, of course, the answer to this question is extremely subjective. It's gonna change for everybody, but I think by the end of this video, you will have a very good idea if San Diego is worth it for you or not. What I'm gonna do to help you analyze is I'm gonna to bring up some of the biggest complaints about living in San Diego, and I'm going to give you some context and perspective from a local so you can know exactly what it's really like. Starting with the fact that San Diego is crowded, and it is. It's the second most populous city in all of California, with just over 1.4 million people living here. So it's a, it's a lot. But the truth is, with the exception of downtown San Diego, both the city and San Diego County are, are pretty spread out. So if you don't like the density, if you don't want to be on top of people, if you just move east or if you move north, you can pretty much get away from that. And it's it's not going to be an issue. I mean, my wife and I live in the city of San Diego. We have a house with a yard. We have a garden. We have chickens. We have plenty of space. We're still central. So if we wanted to get downtown, we can get there in 15 minutes. And next up is traffic. I got to tell you, it was very nice a year ago when nobody was leaving their houses. There wasn't anyone on the roads. You didn't have to deal with the nine to fivers. You didn't have to deal with the 8 a.m. or the 5 p.m. traffic that hit every single day. As the traffic builds, it is frustrating. So does the aggravation, especially lately. According to the research group INREX, San Diego now ranks as the 15th worst traffic city in the U.S. It's coming back. It's definitely coming back. It is a challenge, especially if you're going north to south every single day, because that's the way that most people are going. The truth is in San Diego, you can get just about anywhere in 20 to 30 minutes, especially if you're going from central to north or north to central. It's not going to be that bad unless you have to go from north San Diego to south San Diego down to Chula Vista or something like that, which most people aren't going to have to do. It's not like most people are going to have jobs in one area and have to go down to the other one. My main thing with traffic is if you can plan ahead, if you know where you're going to be working, if you know where you're going to be commuting to regularly, and you can get within 20 to 30 minute drive, no problem. And lastly, we have cost. This is, this is the number one reason. When people say, is living in San Diego worth it? The main thing they're talking about is the cost of living in San Diego. It's not cheap. Just over the last 12 months since the beginning of the pandemic, a new federal study was released just last week that said San Diegans are paying more for everything from gasoline to food than just about anywhere else in the nation. So we're seeing inflation here at a high rate because of all the taxes, because of the housing costs, because of how much gas costs in California. And then we have housing. And this is, this is the big struggle in San Diego. There's more people moving here every single year than new places being built. We know that we are underdeveloping new properties and it's starting to become a major issue. I mean, ever since the housing market crash in 2009, developers just stopped developing. We're at about 20% of the new construction that is happening every year that needs to happen for the amount of people that are living here and the amount of people that are moving here every single year. I know a lot of people are saying and people believe that people are leaving California and I'm sure people are leaving California, but people are also coming to San Diego because they can work from home and they want to live in a warm, sunny beach community. I can tell you, I'm working with a lot of people that are moving here from other places. And I'll be honest, it's, it's been a major struggle working with these people looking to buy a home in the last 12 months. We've seen, you ready for this? This is a crazy statistic. The median home in San Diego has gone up in the last 12 months from $649,000 to $791,000. That's an increase of 21.9% in just 12 months. Most homes are going for 50 to 100 to $150,000 over asking. You're having to compete with all these different people to secure a home. So this is the biggest hurdle about living in San Diego. If you can afford living here, if you can afford renting or finding a rental, or if you can afford purchasing a house and you can get over that hurdle, it's gonna be worth it for you to live in San Diego. And what that looks like for you and for your family is going to vary because everyone's wants and needs are gonna be completely different. And if you can make that work, then you can experience the perfect year round weather. All right, maybe not perfect, but we have more sunny days in San Diego than anywhere else in the country. The hiking, the outdoor activities, the surfing, the laid back culture, all the restaurants, all the, all the bars. This is a great place to be. In fact, I believe that you can live your best life in San Diego. And I don't know why the sun started to come out 
and glaze me with its presence right as I'm talking about how incredible San Diego is. But if you want some completely unbiased opinions about San Diego, check out this video I did that is all of the comments, the best comments on my videos of what people really think about San Diego, the good, the bad, the ugly. Again, my name is Dan Parker. I'm a San Diego real estate agent and I'm happy to help you. If you have any questions on buying or selling here in San Diego, my contact info is below and we'll see you next time.